In this tutorial, I demonstrate how to manage a recap project's file size using the out of the box sample file as an example. Stick around to find out more. Welcome to PowerSearch, where I show you everything that I know about Revit. If you are visiting today, don't forget to click subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future content. This is the original sample file size. File size issues arise when edits are made, such as removing points and adding things like regions. As a result, the project file size increases. To demonstrate, I will start editing by removing some points. As a tip, using elevations is a quick and easy way to do this, and furthermore, changing the view state by deselecting perspective. Using the window tool is helpful when making large selections. Following on, I will also remove this small section of reflection near the window. Now I will save as to separate the edits from the original file. And because I have removed points, Recap is asking me to determine some optimization settings. Here, I want to remove the 3D points, but I do not want to edit any of the real view images. Revit will then take some time to process those settings and regenerate. Now, clicking the file size again shows a significant reduction which is great, but watch what happens as I continue to edit the same project file by removing some more points. This time, I will clean up the spill on the opposite side and complete the optimization settings again. Checking the file size again reveals an increase beyond the original size, and at this stage, no regions have been added. Have you experienced this before? I am keen to hear from you. Share your experience in the comments section. To manage this kind of file size issue, I recommend using the following workflow. Start by exporting the project by clicking this button. Give the export a name and then click save. This launches the Unify settings which as described here will combine all scan files from this project into a single RCS scan file. Notably, the default resolution between points is 5mm, which typically results in overly large file sizes. Considering point clouds are generally used as an overlay to model from, is there any real benefit to having such a compressed dot density? Let me know what you think in the comments below. This spacing can range all the way up to 100mm, which also seems extreme for a model of this size. In this demonstration, I will opt for a range of 25mm. Once that is set, click Let's Go, and Revit will begin the export. Checking the exported scan's file size shows a dramatic decrease. Next, open the original file. These are the original scans from the original project. No need to do anything here except click Launch Project. Then select the files to import, where I select the recently exported file. And proceed to registration. What I am required to do here is resume registration, which will preserve the current registration and allow me to manually complete any additions. Remember, we are importing an additional scan to the two previously existing scans. 
On screen and to the left is the original project with its two pre-existing scans. And on the right is the exported scan with a reduced dot resolution set to 25mm. As I zoom into the model here, notice the dots are further apart. Following on and starting with the scan on the right, I want to match the views on both models so that I am looking at the same objects. With this complete and focusing on the scan on the right, the next step is to select three objects clearly visible on both models. These are represented by three colors, green, blue and red. On the left, select the same objects in the same order. And notice down here, Recap has found a match and there is enough data between the two models to merge or register the scans into one combined model. Click Merge Scans to proceed. Track the merge process up here. With the merge complete, a preview is displayed on screen and Recap notes that all scans are now registered. Preview the model here and if all is OK, launch the project. Here is the merged project. To proceed, on the right menu, find Scan Locations and then find the imported scan which was merged into the project. Here, it is represented by its file name. I want to turn this off so that it's not visible but all of the original scans remain visible. And then with the window tool, select everything and delete. Notice the mirror balls representing the real view images remain in their original positions. So if I now turn the imported scan back on, it will land in exactly the same spot as the deleted scans in reference to the real view images. This is possible because the models were merged or registered. And now the 3D view shows a reduced resolution. Moving on, I have adjusted the view so that the focus is on the back wall. And I will now add some regions to see what impact that will have on this merged file. I first create a region and I call it walls and I hit enter to accept that. Then switching to the plane tool, I am able to make selections and create regions. Now let's check the impact of all that on the file size. I will save this file with a different name so that comparing is easier. Now let's see the results. That merged file is considerably smaller even with regions added. I hope this video was useful in helping you reduce the size of your recap projects. If so, give this video a like and hit the thumbs up. If you would like more information on recap, then please check out my other videos on this topic. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.